If you recall, my recent review of the Solios watch kickstarted a series of solar watch reviews, many of which you've already seen in my G-Shock series because many of them are solar watches. This one is not a G-Shock, but it's a Casio. Let's see if it holds up. I'm Francois, and it's time to watch. After the team at Solios Watches asked me to review their watches, it inspired me to start reviewing my solar watches, and I wanted to start with this Casio because they're intimately related to G-Shock. And of course, I had a recent G-Shock series of watch reviews, so it was easy to compare and start with this one, which shares the same tough solar technology. Essentially, this tough solar is because they want to associate it to a tough watch. G-Shock is renowned for their tough technology, and so this tough solar, this one on this Casio, is it the same? So I was asking myself these questions, want to review this watch with you? Well, look at the specs quickly and look at the functions of this specific sports watch, and then I'll put it on my wrist and we'll conclude this review. So the dimensions of this watch is really kind of in the G-Shock area, which is basically a large watch with a diameter of 51 millimeters, a lug to lug of 52.2, a lug width of exactly 28, if you want to call that a lug width, because it's kind of integrated bracelet. Uh, strap, I should say, and it's a thickness of 12 millimeters, which basically is kind of thin for a G-Shock. And like all the other G-Shocks, it should be 200 meters of water resistance, but this is a Casio. It's not a G-Shock. It's a 100 meter water resistant and more than enough to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Just jump in the pool and no worries about that. I like the fact that it's a analog and digital watch because you have the functions of a digital watch that you have in the G-Shocks. So it's a tough solar, it's an illuminator. Illuminator essentially it's basically saying that you have a light. It's not the backlit light, it's a LED light and I'll show you the light that comes out out of the corner right there. And you have of course the adjust button, mode button, search button, and of course that light that I just mentioned. So this is a tough watch. It's a very light watch. And why it makes it tough is that you have those kind of buffers inside that protects the quartz watch, the quartz movement, I should say. And this resin also is a resin that uh, is flexible enough to be comfortable on your wrist, but solid enough to have that wear, that daily wear and wear and tear. And as you can see in the images, I've been wearing this at the beach. I recently went in uh, on vacation with, um, with my family and I said, you know what? Moving forward, every time I wear this watch, I'll remember that great time I had with my family at the beach. If we get back to the solar technology of this Casio, sharing the tough solar technology is essentially the same as the G-Shocks. I tried to see if this specific sport watch had a different technology, but essentially it's the same thing. It can generate power from a weak light source and it generates that power to a large capacity rechargeable battery. And within the real estate of the dial itself, what they do is they calculate precisely the real estate that is needed to permit the installation of this high, high resilient film-like solar panel. Essentially, the thinness of that solar, pa solar panel is sandwiched between the dial and the movement itself, so it's well protected. That movement with the buffer inside that protects against shocks and the resin around the casing as well, protects against the shock. So that's why they can call it tough solar. It can take a beating like the watch can. 
If we look at the watch itself, there are two main reasons why I chose this one. Initially, like I said, I like the fact that it's analog and digital, so you have the functions of a digital watch. So in your day-to-day, -day, you can use that technology for anything you want, the stopwatch, the alarms. But I like also the quote-unquote old-fashioned look and feel of the analog hands. And on top of that, this brings me to the second reason why I chose this one is the legibility. That contrast between that dark dial and that re-hot with the minute track right there with the hour markers that are popping out, the numerals on the, at the 12, the 3, and the 9 pop out really, really, really well. The hands are skeletonized and very thin, so it's a bit harder to see, but they still have a nice contrast between that dark dial. And of course, that solar technology on the dial makes it so that you can see kind of the pattern there. And it's really, really light, like I said, off the bat. Uh, when you wear it on your wrist, it's 43 grams uh, of lightness on your wrist. So speaking of which, I'll put it on my wrist. I'll go quickly through the functions and we'll conclude this review. Here it is on my seven inch wrist. Like I said, it's a larger watch. It was reminiscent of the G-Shock proportions. And to put this one on my wrist, I had to take this one off. This is another solar watch, is a Citizen EcoDrive Pro Master Diver. So let's go quickly in regards to the functions. Like I said, you have the mode button here, that's your main button. And you have here the very first item where you can see the battery level. And this is another thing that I really like is that off the back you know if you need to charge this or not. Then here, you have the world time. It was WT. Sorry about that. Here, you can't take out the um, the um, the handset in front of the digital display. So this is world time. I put it on Denver. I have one of my friends who lives in Denver, and I like to see what time it is in his neck of the woods. You have alarm one, two, three, four. Five, and you have a signal for an hourly chime. Then you get back to alarm one. And of course, you can adjust that alarm by pressing here and then going through the different modes here and changing it up. I, sh I should say up or down right there. You have a timer, and again, you can adjust it. What's specific about the timer I like is that when you adjust it, you see here, you can adjust a second timer. You have site timer number one and timer number two. So you can repeat that. You can see it here, the number of times you can repeat, and then you get back to it. Now the stopwatch, of course, it works normally. You start, you stop, and you reset. And now you're back to the time. What's specific about the time is that you can change the display. This is kind of redundant to have the time in digital here and analog. So I don't leave it there. I change it to either Friday, so today is the day, and you see the running seconds are still there with that little kind of icon letting you know which type of frame you are from one to five seconds. Or, and this is where I leave it most of the time, the month and the day. And you still see the running seconds. Then you're back to your high. So if you want to go back quickly, you just press, hold, and you're back to your time. So that's about it. This concludes my review and overview of this solar Casio watch, this tough solar, this sports watch. And if you like these types of reviews, don't hesitate. Press that like button and I encourage you to subscribe. And if you do subscribe, press that notification bell. You'll be notified of all my upcoming reviews. One of which will be this one, this Citizen EcoDrive. 
So I truly appreciate you tuning in and I hope to see you next time. <laughs>